It's official now. The high hustle podcast about to sit you down. Go and fix your crown. This ain't a grain of salt. All right. Yo, welcome back. This your boy Mafioso. We over here with my bro Elijah. Um, we just talking about roller skating, man. Both of us go to the rink. We love it. We cherish it. But now comes my favorite part of the episode. <laughs> Flash questions, where I get to qu- ask him questions that he could possibly get canceled for. <laughs> don't do it, uh, please don't. Please don't. I, I, hey, I'm going to ask him, bro. <laughs> Boots or sliders? Ah, oh, damn. Oh, I can't even and call you can't, it that You got to pick one. Damn. Uh, sliders. Oh, I just, knew it was coming because he started person. out with that shit. I'm a lazy person. It just takes more effort with the boot. I'm sorry. Hey, low key it does. I got a low low top boot and it takes a lot of effort. So like, I can I, imagine what it does with a high top. You do different boot. things on both, but it's just like just get on and go with the fight. Okay, he said I'm a lazy person. <laughs> I'm a lazy person. I'm gonna let you know right now as your big brother, that's not a good trait to have. <laughs> Fix that. Now Look, I'll be in the middle of the skating rink with my fibers on doing boot stuff. I'm that lazy. <laughs> Literally, he will. I've I'm seen that it. lazy. Now, it's gonna get you canceled for sure. Oh Lord. Vegas skating or Cali skating? <laughs> Ugh. Uh, let's let, let's make a reel out of this one for sure, Monte. <laughs> oh no! Uh, between those two, I'm gonna have to go with Cali skating. We, growing up, I will tell y'all well, before you before I do say this, we did have a culture. Vegas did have a culture yep. back then. Before y'all ever say we didn't, we did not. We did. Yes, we did. We did have a culture. It was jam skating, but yeah, I tell people that every, every time, time I go to the ring, jam skating, I'm like, look, but, y'all don't know when we was coming here in the late '90s, early 2000s, it was all jam skating. That was all jam skating. It just wasn't. It wasn't Cali style. It wasn't style. popping like how y'all how y'all style is. But I mean, when it comes down to it, my family is from Cali, Cali shit like yeah. that. Yeah, Cali, Cali makes sense. And that's the thing people don't really understand is that 90 percent of the skaters in the rink today come from Cali. 2008, people moved to Vegas. In when the when the housing crash happened. Mm-hmm. Then in 2016, 2017, it happened again. Then the pandemic, more Cali people moved out here. They're not going to Rancho. Ain't nobody trying to go to Rancho. <laughs> at all. <laughs> so, of course, they're going to be at Skate Rock City. Right, like, that's right. why you see all sliders there. Literally. Which, we're not mad about it. Even some of your favorite boot riders are from Cali. Yeah, yeah. literally. Now, oh, <laughs> East Coast or West Coast style, let's... Take it to the U.S. Mm. So, because I know that East Coast has like JB, right. mainly boots, right? Theirs goes big, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and then the West Coast is obviously sliders. So, it, now it, we're going it from... It does get a little vers- versatile when it comes to the boot riding in, in Cali. But you don't really, like I said, it's a few of them out there. You don't really see too many from Cali in boots. So, I mean, mm, when it comes to that one, East Side or West Side... Mmm, that's a good question. I don't even. <laughs> you got me stuck for because I know you've been to both coasts. And my family is literally from both coasts, guys. Like, I know, so <laughs> I get canceled from my family and y'all if I ask. This question. <laughs> like, he lost so either way. I lost. It's a lose lose. So, um, dang. Then you got to choose what you love because you losing either way. Uh, I said West Coast last. I'm gonna go East Coast this time. Ah, so. let's okay, go. Look, 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 look. I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get y'all get y'all pointers on both boards. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. <laughs> Now, I like them both, though. They both got different things that you can take away from everything. I so. remember I've put I I've skated low top boot yeah, forever, yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah. Like, and I remember putting. Remember that time when I posted that my skates got stolen? Oh yeah. And Josh gave me that old high top boot. Yep. I that changed my whole style <laughs> when because a lot for of people sure. don't understand is when you have a low top boot, your heel is very small. Yeah, it's it's like literally the certain setup you have is literally. Gonna determine how you skate. exactly and uh Bree, she mm-hmm. just got those like slade skates. Oh yeah. And she was even saying like that when she put them on, it was a whole different ball game yeah. because she didn't have a heel at all. And, and that a, heel changes everything. Exactly. It's a little more stretchier too. It's a sneaker, stuff like that. It's just Yep. It's different. Yeah, a lot. And I remember I had them custom Cali dunks. Oh yeah, <laughs> bro! It was so crazy skating in shoes. Yeah, for sure. That was the that was that's what made me like, excuse me, and respect sliders for sure. Because I didn't have sliders, but I had a low tie mm-hmm. a low top plate or a low low rider plate. Yep. And I had the Cali Dunks. Yeah. So it was a but I had the shaving down American Dreams. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So when I was skating, I felt like I was sliding. Because obviously Venethane have a slide to it, shit, yeah. but 
I just, I respected it more. I was like, dang, yeah. like, it's really dopes, like, skating in shoes. Yeah, no, it was true. And coming from me, all my friends know I had all type of different colorful vans and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was just so funny. I remember when I first stepped in, you had some weird ass colors. Either I had the yacht clubs on or some Marvel vans. Yeah, I had some crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, keep, now, I keep it classy now. <laughs> now, you're obviously young. For sure. So you're not even 21 yet. So just like me, the rink culture kind of shaped you, For so sure. to speak. Yep. Would you say that? This is like a little deeper, but would you say that the rink culture shaped you in a positive way or in a negative way? Because obviously we want to know that as a kid growing up in the rink, being introduced to skate culture, we, I know me as a, like somewhat of an OG of it. I want to make sure that we're giving good, you know what I'm saying? So what would you say from your perception and your perspective, would you say was the best part and the worst part about the rink? Um, The best part about the rink was really just communicating and learning from every everyone in there and meeting new people like knowing their story because it's like everyone is different but they're all coming to this one yep. spot doing the same thing so it's yeah. like learning new people it's a melting pot exactly so it was like i guess that's definitely a plus for it but a negative probably be like drama people getting into drama you know ego getting in people's way with the skating and stuff like that some people I just like to have fun, you know. Other people are like, oh, yeah, I'm better than him. I'm just like, you know. I, I seen you got some beef on Instagram a couple months back. Uh, it kind of, it died down, you know, after for some reason. Like, he said something, and then I posted that I was ready, like, for mm-hmm. the battle type much. And then after that, just it went away. Down. So I was just like, whatever. Internet talkers. It's just like, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm glad to know that, like, there was a positive, and the only thing you experienced is, like, people talking crap yeah just negative, you get what i'm saying like, just because there's a lot of cultures and subcultures you hear where people you know got abused and people got sure, certain yeah. things done to them and i tr- i try to make sure that me personally i maintain a good reputation when it comes to the rink and like mm-hmm. i try to treat people with respect For and sure. like you know because like you said we're a melting pot of people and we're all going there to just kind of escape right literally so it's like you don't want to have your escape be, be the crazy yeah. triggered in trauma exactly you know what i'm saying thank you for tuning in to another episode of the high hustle podcast do me a favor like subscribe hit the bell for notifications also follow our partner swarm branding we'll see y'all next time